everyone, so I am going to be doing my top products of 2013 because 2013 is almost over and that's pretty sad. But I have a lot of products that I really love throughout this entire year. So I'm just going to go through them and this is going to be pretty quick. So if you want a more in-depth video, some of them will have reviews and I'll say which ones to do. But other than that, let's get started. So I'm going to first start off with eye products. So in the year of 2013, I used my Naked Palette so much. Like, I still haven't hit pan though, but this pro this palette was so amazing. It has such neutral colors. If I was ever in a rush, I would just like swipe it on and I was out the door. It was so easy to use and I love this so much because it was just such good quality and it lasted me throughout the entire day. Next, they're from the same brand, but it's the Wet n Wild Petal, Plush Petal Plusher and Comfort Zone. These are the best eyeshadows I've ever used. These are 10 times better than my Naked palette just because they go on so smoothly. They last all day. They have such pretty colors. On the back they have the combinations you can make. These are so cheap. I think they're like each $3. They are so easy. They so, Oh my god, I love them so much. I took this one on the cruise with me. All I did was literally like in the mornings I would take one, swipe it, put it on my eyelids, swipe another one, put it on my crease and I was done and it looked so effortless and it was so easy to use and pretty. And you can put this in your school bag, you can put this in your work bag, it just works so perfectly. Next is this other one from Maybelline, it's called Maybelline New York Luminous Lights. This is an Opal Nights. I really like using this for more formal events throughout this year. I kind of just swiped on. It just made my eyes really sparkly. Like I really like using this base color with um, winged eyeliner. It just looked so pretty. And it was just a really good investment. I don't use it that often, but it really is something nice for the holidays. Next is my favorite mascara in the entire world. This is the Voluminous Million Lashes by L'Oreal. This still hasn't finished and I use this every single day without a doubt. Today I'm using Benefits Their Real Mascara because I was doing it for a review. But this is by far the best mascara I have ever used. It coats every single lash. It makes it look like they're actually real because it doesn't look like there's any product on them which I really like. People always compliment me on my eyelashes. I'm like, oh yeah, thanks. They're natural. I'm just lying. The it's this. I love this to pieces. It stay on stays on all day. It doesn't flake. It doesn't clump. And next is my favorite eye eyeliner. I love all CoverGirl eyeliners, but this is the Ink It by CoverGirl. It just is the easiest application ever. It goes on so black. You just twist it. It goes on so easy, so smooth. It's waterproof and sweatproof. So basically, it's life proof. It lasts all day. I wore this in Jamaica. I had it on, and through all the sweating, it was 44 degrees Celsius. So that was burning. I was sweating. We went swimming. I went to the pool afterwards with some of my friends. And at the end of the night, it was still in place. It was amazing. Next is the Maybelline Eye Studios Gel Liner. This is such an amazing liner. I find it's really easy to use gel liner because you can really like wing it out however you like. If you're looking for gel eyeliner, definitely recommend this. It came with a brush, but I really didn't like the brush that much. But the product itself was amazing. I used this mainly from January to June-ish and the summer I didn't really wear makeup. But this was such an amazing thing. Gel eyeliner, the best eyeliner out there. And last but not least, it's the Visine's Original Eye Drops. So I use this in the morning. Sometimes my eyes look kind of veiny and I don't like veiny eyes. It just looks scary. So I pop these into my eye. Or if I'm ever noticing that I'm having some pretty bad acne or like something's just blowing up and it's really red, you just put a drop of this on any acne spot. And it, like in 20 minutes top, it, the acne goes away. And it's so amazing because it just reduces and the redness goes away. And I absolutely love this. So I keep this on my night set every day. Next is face products. So the foundation that I've been using the entire year has been the Garnier Skin Renewal Cream BB Cream in medium to dark. So this has SPF, it illuminates your face, it makes it so nice and smooth. I got a two pack for Christmas last year. I've already finished an entire one and this is my second one and I've almost done it. Well no, not really, there's so much left. These are so big, they're so nice, they go on so easily, they last me the entire day. Um, if you get the oil free version, you won't get oil the entire day. They're just so amazing because they do such great coverage. You can go one coat and it becomes light coverage, so it just kind of conceals most things. But if you go two covers, it's perfect for if you someone who needs extra coverage. It feels so light on your skin. It is so big. Like this is the Garnier one, and this is my other one. Like look at the size difference of that. It is so big. It is so worth the money. My I asked for Christmas for more of this because I love it so much. There is not a day where I wear foundation where I'm not using this. The only time where I'm using a different foundation is for formal events. And I use my Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse in Airbrush Finish. This is in the color medium. 
if you're wondering. So this has been amazing for more formal events. It stays matte much longer. It gives you a really flawless finish. It gives you a really fake finish. I'll say that. It makes you look completely airbrushed and flawless. And I don't like that for school because I'm human. I have imperfections. So I prefer my BB cream where you can still see kind of that I have imperfections. And it's not like I try too hard. But this makes it so smooth. It blurs out everything. And the only bad side about this is that the pump, it really bothers me. You go like poof, 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 it takes so long. But I use this for if I'm ever going out to dinner with my friends, we're taking a lot of pictures. If I'm ever going out to party, if I'm going to picture day, I use this for picture day. It's just a really good investment. I don't think it was that expensive either. But I, if you're looking for a good foundation, I would definitely check this out. Last but not least is this product that NYC sent to me earlier in... June I would say June July this powder has been my lifesaver I use this powder every single day I mix it in with my um, baby powder and baby powder and this you pour it in together in the lid you like buff it in it leaves you like flawless first of all it goes into your pores and it kind of like blends in your foundation so you look completely flawless like this with my BB cream I look flawless I love the finish it leaves me so smooth and it leaves me so um, oily for the rest of the day and if I ever need extra coverage I go over this once and then I use this other powder and it just leaves me so perfect it's this one is translucent so it's amazing for all skin types the lids really deep so you just pour some in here and you can buff it onto your skin I love this so much so thank you NYC for sending me this it has definitely been one of my favorite products of the entire year and I will definitely buy one once I'm done last but not least is another product a company sent me this is the essence um, bronzer. I don't know what it's actually called because the name rubbed off. Can you believe it or not? They just sent this to me in September or October and I've already almost hit pan. I use this every single day. I have no clue how I went without using bronzer before this but I'm using it today. It's such an amazing bronzer. It's completely matte. Like There's absolutely no sparkles to it whatsoever. I have the color natural so it's better for this one's for medium to this one's for blonde people, but since I have darker skin, it just looks really, really natural, and I really like that part. So if you're someone with my skin tone, I would try, I would like recommend trying to go with something for lighter skin because it just looks so natural. It looks like you're not even trying. I don't know. Bronzer has been my new favorite thing. So Essence, thank you so much for this. I absolutely adore it, and it smells like chocolate, which is amazing. Next are lip products. So my favorite lipstick brand has definitely been Rimmel London, and this is called Alarm. I use this like for school almost every day. Okay, no, that's exaggeration. I wear to school sometimes, and I love this color. It goes on so matte. It goes on so creamy. It stays on. It's amazing. I absolutely adore this to pieces. It is the best. It smells so good, and I love all my Rimmel London lipsticks. They're like five bucks or something. They're so amazing. Next is this lip gloss from. Victoria's Secret. I just keep this in my purse because it gives you the prettiest shiny lips ever. Kind of makes your lip look a little pouty. It's amazing. I got this in my Victoria's Secret bag last year for Black Friday. But this is definitely something I would go buy myself because it is so amazing. If you need a good lip gloss, definitely this. Another two lip glosses is this NYX one and Mega Shine Lip Gloss. This gives you a really, really nice shine. I love using this for pictures or when I'm filming because as soon as I move around, it just gives me the most shine ever. And this is the Rimmel Volume Booster. This is so old, but it's still so amazing. It has collagen in it, so it makes your lips really pouty. And I really like it sometimes. It's a nice color. It just makes my lips look really like Angelina Jolie and so pretty. Next are the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balms. I have four of these, but two of them I gave to my mom because the colors just looked so pretty on her. But these were so awesome. They smell so minty, and they go on so smooth. They stay on all day. They're twisty. I just love them so much. They, I just adore these. These were absolutely amazing things, and I definitely loved buying these. Next is an EOS mom, and I feel really bad because I did an EOS review earlier this year about how awful EOS was, but apparently I just had a bad EOS bomb. So now this is one I just recently bought, and look how much I've used. They are so soft. I took one to my cruise with me. They just replenish your lips so much. They make it so soft, and they're creamy, and I really love these. Just, I wish I could put it on my pocket. That's it. 
Next is this bubblegum lip scrub from Lush, my friend Alex bought for me. And this is something I use every week. I just apply it in the morning and then once at night too. And just scrubs off all the dead skin. It makes it so easy to apply lipstick on it because you no longer have any dead skin on your lips. It's just something that's a really good investment, but if you are not looking to pay $10 for this little tube, you can always go look at my DIY, which I'll be posting soon, on how to make your own lip scrub. It's so easy and it tastes so good. So that was all my makeup products. I know that was a lot, but um, yes. So if you want to see the rest of my products, so there's face products, hair products, and body products, you should just click on my face, which will redirect you to my other video. But if makeup was all you came to see, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!